in the next 20 years more will change the way we do our work than it has happened in the last 2000 years. We are at the beginning of the new age in the human history. There has been four major historical eras defined by the way we work. The hunter-gatherer age lasted several million years. Then the agricultural age lasted several thousand years. Then the industrial age lasted a couple of centuries. And now the information age lasted a few decades. Today we are on the cusp of the new age as a species. Welcome to the Augmented Age. In this new era, your natural human capabilities are going to be augmented by computational systems that helps you think, robotics that helps you make, and a digital nervous system that helps you connect far beyond your natural senses. Let's begin with cognitive augmentation. How many of you are cyborg? We are already augmented. Yes, by using my smartphone and a quick search on the internet, I can find whatever I need. Yes, it is with me always, but as a passive tool. It's a passive tool, remains still, until we do not use it. In fact, for the last 3.5 million years, the tools that we have had has been completely passive. They exactly do what we tell them to do, nothing more and nothing less. Even our most advanced sophisticated tools do nothing until we do not give them any instruction. We have to manually push our wills into our tools. But tools are leaping from being passive to generative by using computers and synchronized geometry. To come up with new design, all they need is your goal. Let's take an analogy to clarify. For designing a drone, all you need to tell the system that it needs four propellers. It will come up with all the possible solutions. For designing a drone that can fly, every single possibility that can match the criteria, millions of them, and it will come back to you. The design we by ourselves, we could have never imagined, and computers are doing it. All these stuff, all all by themselves without we drawing anything. In the beginning, things will take time because the algorithm works the same way evolution does. Then things will catch up very fast because computers can now generate, they can come up with their own solution to a well defined problem of ours. It was back in 1952, computers to run tic-tac-toe was, was a very big deal. And then after 45 years, in 1997, a computer named Deep Blue, yeah, Deep Blue, destroyed a human player in chess. And in 2011, IBM Watson beats two humans in Jeopardy which is much harder for a computer to play chess. And after a few weeks, DeepMind AlphaGo beats the world's best player at Go, which is in fact a more difficult game. We have in fact in Go, there are more possible moves than there are atoms in the universe. To win Go, AlphaGo has to develop intuition. Developers didn't understand why it was doing what it was doing. Mean the computer itself is making decisions that was far beyond their human reach. In the space of human lifetime, computers have gone from childhood games to pinnacles to of the human thoughts that we simply cannot imagine. Let's use an analogy to break it down even further. Will you cross the bridge? Most of us will say by deciding in a couple of seconds. And just by looking the bridge, you understood that the bridge is unsafe for you and you say, no, I'm not going from that bridge. Deep learning systems are trying to develop techniques that can see things and that can give you ideas. Sorry, this will never work and you have to try it again. That's what I'm talking about. Technologies that can amplify our cognitive abilities. So we can design things that were simply out of our reach. Yeah, definitely robots will take jobs from humans. But this time, it will happen faster than before. Let's take it a bit further. This team is using MX3D to build the world's first autonomously manufactured bridge in Amsterdam using stainless steel. And they are going to continue to build it, yeah, 3D print, without any human intervention, until the bridge is going to be finished. 
then what about our abilities to control these systems a digital nervous system that helps us connect taking a traditional race car chassis then connecting sensors all over its body that gives us a digital nervous system and then let it drive from a world class driver in desert and the nervous system of the car captures everything it captures 4 billion data points of the focus that it was subjected to then we plugged all the data points into a generative ai design tool called dreamcatcher and we got this It's something a human could have never designed. We augmented it. A new age where human creativity will be augmented by machines. A system once started will continue to work. And as always, thanks for watching. Videos like this take hundreds of hours to make. This video was funded by the useful advice of Mercurius Conte.